We sat down at, with their close, at the, at the title agent at the closing room table. They, they were the innocent bystander really here. They were just passing along documents that, that you know, that, as, to, to get you to sign these documents. So when it came to terms of MERS, you know, for those people that asked, and I, I certainly asked, I said, what the hell is MERS? You know, we got basically the, uh, the nonchalant uh, uh, representation. Oh, that's just a utility function of Fannie and Freddie to keep track of mortgages. You know, very, very innocent, very nonchalant, very, you know, believable. Okay, but where did that come from? That came from uh, uh, that came from uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 the principles that are passing fraud through these innocent representations, or what appear to be innocent representations. Okay, at an arm's length distance. It's the same thing here with what we're talking about the trademarks and, and how they're going to how they're going to reach out with, to us, and also too with these attorneys, uh, these attorneys that are suing us. You know, these are these are these are not third-rate attorneys, but they're certainly not attorneys that are that 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 are um, have anything. Uh, contracts within uh, um, uh, patents and trademarks. They're operating off license agreements from uh, uh, um, uh, patent in, uh, intellectual intellectual uh, uh, law firms, patent law firms. I'm sorry, intellectual properties law firms. So they're operating off the license from them. Why? Because everybody wants to maintain a arm's length distance. Okay. So it's the same thing with this and communicating with us to try to settle on these things. Now I, I've gotten a lot of phone calls from something called American disability. Well, you know, my, my gut tells me I don't want to talk to these people, but my, my, my knowledge tells me that, well, you know, I kind of do want to talk to these people to some degree because now I'm talking about the language of patents and trademarks and the language of being disabled. We've been disabled by the banking system. We've been disabled by the United States Patent and Trademarks Office. That's harmed us, you know. Um, so, I mean, this is a whole different bag of, uh, of, a bag of goods that we're talking about here. That as one thing we want to do is we want to keep it out of courts. We want to stay away from courts. And I think the reason why this was not filed in court in, uh, uh, in, in our case was because they don't have any freaking standing anymore. Because I put myself on the record uh, and I did that trademark, uh, I did that trademark assignment, which is me, Kenneth W. Doss, upper lower case, you know, the natural person, the body of living matter, made that recording and assignment and said, hey, that Kenneth W. Doss, that all capitalized name, that's mine, okay? That's mine. And by taking that and reassigning that, what I'm doing is I'm killing all the powers in between that. Not only that, by signing this thing between the uh, hash marks, which is what your signature is, your electronic signature would, would be uh, or is, um, uh, uh, is, is my, is my, is my is giving myself an existence. Now I have a physical existence. Existence, and what is that physical existence? It's the identification with that, that non-human. Okay, that puts us into the record. So I think I think what went on here, and Marjorie, uh, you can pipe in if you want on, on what you think, and Liz too. Um, that uh, um, what happened here was a scare tactic, uh, but it wasn't a scare tactic to scare us. It was, I believe, it was a scare tactic so that we would give them everything we have. Again. To, to, again, to reiterate, I believe that they needed to get that patent agreement or that patent assignment and trademark assignment that I have on file uh, uh, into their hands so that they could start executing a private solution. That's what I think is going on here. Wholeheartedly, you know. Um, that's what it is. And, and you know, um, now I don't know how we're going to be, uh, so we only got a uh, couple of people on the line here. I think everybody's, well, I guess we've got eight participants here. Um, so, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 so anyhow, where do you want to begin? We're talking about patents, right? Um, yeah, that's what the class is going to be on is okay. um, patents. Did Marjorie or um, Liz want to say anything about your, your document? that you got from well if not that's fine let's just let's just kind of just move along in the past and talk about what we're going to talk about um uh and, and go into that and you got you got this on recording anyhow um but let's let's let's, let's just go right into the uh, uh class and patents because there's a lot to talk about in patents um okay <laughs> patents 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 what are patents boy it's probably, probably one of the most difficult things to teach uh because patents is everything uh you know when most people think of patents what do you think of you think of the telephone, right? You oh, hold on. Out. Hold on one second. Um, Liz yeah. says she's unable to talk. Oh, it looks like she, oh, here she is. It looks like her mic's on, so I don't know. But she could type something over here if she wanted. 
if she had a comment. Oh, I hear something. Liz, did you want to type something or? Well, let's just let's just move let's just move ahead. And, and okay. Let's, All let's right. Let's, let's let's move, let's move ahead. ahead. Yeah. And she'll, ahead. When she types something, then I'll I'll relay it. How's that sound? That that's fine. Yeah, because I want to I don't want to I don't want to make this all about our case here. I mean, I, I everybody that helped us fantastic. Uh, and also also one last point in that case uh, what they tried doing. Oh, Liz they says Liz says she's in the ER. Oh, sorry. Don't relay that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't see it at that part at the last minute. Okay. Um, uh, um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, let's just go ahead and um, talk about patents. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, um, um, uh, patents. Okay. Pat patents are a very hard thing to teach because, especially, when most people think of a patent, they think of Alexander Graham Bell's telephone or or uh, the tele or the uh, or the uh, um, light bulb, uh, and that, by and large, of course, is what really most patents have been for all these years, something that is tangible uh, for the for the good of human for the uh, good of humanity. Um, patents took a took a change in 1998 when everything was when when the, um, the, the court ruled that these automated business methods were patentable. Um, and, and that unleashed and and that the day that, that ruling came down, which was I think it was if I'm not mistaken, was either June 28th or the 30th of 1998, the whole world changed forever. It changed forever. Um, it, it, it killed paradigm. It killed the paradigm that we're all used to. It killed the, the fact that uh, uh, the human communications between persons and, you know, for banking transactions, for insurances, for government and, 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 and uh, the people that they're supposed to serve, you and me, it changed everything. Everything changed on that day and, and it has gone downhill ever since then. And here we are uh, uh, 20 some years later and, and we still don't know. The world has no clue what's really going on, um, and the world has no clue because we weren't told that there was a that there was a new economy, a new economic model, a new financial model, a new government model, a, a new model of, for everything that was going to be laid in place, and that was going to be uh, based on patents and automated processes and artificial intelligence and futures predictions and stripping ownership away from people. Uh, and turning people into leases and, and uh, uh, turning people into special purpose vehicles and all these things that, that nobody told us. Nobody told us about these things. Everybody told us that it's business as usual, that when you sit down, you buy, more, when you buy a house, you're signing a mortgage loan, a UCC3 negotiable instrument. And uh, um, of course, if you default on that, they have a right to come in and, 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 and uh, uh, file foreclosure upon you and evict you from your house. And so we go through this whole scenario and this is how we've been living these past 20 some years or almost a little over 20 years. And it, but the fact of the matter is, it's all a lie. It, every bit of that is a lie. Um, what, they, they, what they're doing is they are, they, they're, pro, they're forcing a false belief upon us uh, to make us believe these are mortgage loans. And, 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 and they're, they're enforcing that by, by, the, uh, by the legal codes and statutes. But the fact of the matter is, uh, it's prima facie, proven by patents and trademarks that it's all a lie. All of this is a lie. They're trying to maintain a belief in something that they have no legal or lawful right to enforce. And that is a mortgage, that is, a, that is these defaults, these foreclosures, and all these things uh, related to that. That's why I keep on saying, you know, we got to stay out of the court system. We have to stay out of the court system. We can't play in that game. Okay, if we're going to play in the court system, then let's play, the, play, it, play in it on our terms and conditions, which is having the standing to do these things. Well, how do you get the standing to do these things? You have to recognize patents and trademarks, um, and you have to realize what you're doing when you're doing these things. But we're, we're not talking about trademarks today, we're talking about patents. Um, patents are, a, are an, interesting, they're an interesting bird, <laughs> uh, because patents really are, by and large, patents are ambiguous, uh, especially in the past 20 years. I mean, they're, 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 they're um, an invention from somebody's mind. Um, they are created from somebody's mind as some kind of scenario or some kind of uh, uh, made up uh, um, uh, 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 bullshit, really, to be honest with you. And that's really what these things are. Um, if you think about how government operates, and you think about all these automated processes, you know, we, get, we take it for granted that we pick up our phone and we can do all these, these cool little things in our phone, but we don't think about 
what, what the technology is behind it. Um, and, and more so, we don't think about what is within that technology as far as our rights are concerned and as far as our, 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 our privacy is concerned. And, and you know, uh, I have to laugh when I see uh, the, these commercials for, uh, um, oh, what is it, the, 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 the people that um, protect your identity. Um, um, oh, shoot. I can't think of the name of them right now, but I have to lie at that. I have to laugh at that because our identity was stolen uh, at the hub of patents and trademarks by an agreement that you and I never agreed to, by a pledge agreement that is to patents. Now, patents are, patents tells a story. Um, there's a storyline and a script, I guess you could say, uh, that this whole world of patents is based on. And it, it, it's based on, uh, um, uh, Knowledge is based on lack of knowledge. It's based on infrastructure and, and, and the industrial revolution and, and, and manufacturing. At the same time, it has to deal with uh, the natural uh, organics of, of being on the land and, and, and wine as it naturally grows on a grape and then naturally ferments, uh, in, I'm sorry, grapes uh, to ferment a wine uh, in contrast with uh, the me mechanical piping uh, for distilled spirits to create rum and uh, 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 booze and whiskey and all these things. And you laugh at that stuff and you think, well, what the hell does that have to do with anything that we're talking about here? And, and it, it has everything to do with it. It has everything to do with what we're talking about with patents here. You know, we sit there, we talk about how crooked the government is and, and, and you know, that, 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 that um, uh, how bad it is, and just how it's been used, and how we've been lied to, it. and that's all true. That's all well and good, but at the same time, though, we have to recognize that we have a part to play in this as well. And that part that we play in this goes back to before we were even uh, before we were born, when we were conceived, when uh, uh, God created us, and He created us with the body, with the intention of body and soul. And so it, it all has to do with the separation of this body and soul, and how it weaves through this storyline of patents. And in this, in this infrastructure and, and, and this, the, these things that we fight that we don't understand, that if we can get in, gain an understanding of it, uh, then we could call it bullshit on the whole game. And, and so um, the, we do have a personal responsibility in all these, in all these things because it's not the government, uh, uh, it's not the government's job to teach us what our soul is to teach us what that thing is out there, which is called the all capitalized name, that, that, that part of us that is not a physical part of us, but is a part of us that was ingrained in us by God. Uh, before we were named, before you were even born, uh, you know, the, the, the soul is part of the, uh, our atoms of the universe that happened to, get, have, happened to have a name to it because it was given to us. You know, that's, part of, that's our part of our soul. But, but even before it was named, those atoms and particles were still out there in the universe. You know, and this may sound all existentialist, all existentialistic and, and, and crazy what, and whatnot, but it's not. It's all about, this is consciousness. It's all about what we know and understand about ourselves and our universe and, and our God. Not, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about uh, 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 Catholicism or, or uh, a Protestant, a Protestantism or, Bapt or Baptist. I'm talking about a Christian God, what this country was formed under. Uh, and and um, on the premise that, uh, what, what they put us into is they put us into a scenario that is, a, that is, that is um, um, an elective dictatorship to the British Parliament, I'm sorry, the Queen in Parliament, to the British Crown, uh, to the Commonwealth in general, uh, that, that is a union, but is a union with England and not a union between our body and soul. And so the, when you talk about these patents and you talk about what, what these patents are generating and everything and what we are in this system, there is no lawful money in the system. This, no, it's not, the system is not based on lawful money. It's based on credit value. It's based on, if you're talking about credit value, you're talking about the energy of the people. And, and where, because where else does value come from? Where does it come from? Where does it originate from? When it goes back to the, the, the whole thing with the Federal Reserve and writing checks and depositing checks to the Federal Reserve. We're the ones that are the original depositor, right? It's the same thing here with patents and trademarks, or patents and, well, patents and trademarks, but on this and patents. Um, so when we're born, what we are put into, and this goes with, this is, has to do with the birth certificate. What we are put into is we are put into uh, um, an, the American Union. Okay. Under the American Union, we are, uh, we, we are put underneath a charter, but we are put underneath articles of manufacture. Uh, so we become a corporation in a sense of a, um, a, 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 a single member LLC, if you will, that's part of the United States Corporation, but more, more specifically as part of the American Union. 
Okay, now this is all under uh, the 1883 Paris, in, uh, um, oh, let's see if I get this right now, 1883 Paris Industrial Intellectual Properties Protection Convention, something of that nature, uh, which, is, which, is, which is what they're basing everything on today. Everything that's happening today, everything that Aquin is doing, everything that Altus Source is doing is all based on that 1883 convention uh, to which we have protections underneath. Underneath that, we are protected as an unregistered trade name. But what this is, is this was the Industrial Revolution, okay? And uh, of course, we got hijacked in the process by the British uh, 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 Commonwealth. Why? Because yeah, although we're an American Union, we, are a, we have four states that are commonwealths and four states that uh, because of those, because they're commonwealths and because it, it is a beeline to um, uh, uh, England, and because they could, they could take cognizance of state law, and because it's a uh, um, uh, um, uh, 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 commonwealth, um, there is commerce. And so we're there, they're able to incorporate us into this commonwealth, and we all pay for it. Uh, and the states accept it willingly. Why? Because when we're put through the commonwealth, our credit, uh, of course, is being uh, uh, um, absorbed, being stolen, uh, and, and is. Uh, Making money and, and, and stocks and bonds and everything well, well wealth for the for the uh, the, the banks and the, and the, and the rich the rich elite, but it's also uh, uh, serving to build government uh, and, and provide monies to these other states. And how do they do that? They do that by making us an, an accommodating party uh, for federal public money, which is run right through the Commonwealth of uh, Virginia. So the states of Oregon, the states of California, so all these other states, a lot of the money is coming from us. Uh, as an accommodating party. So of course they're gonna accept the Commonwealth. And of course everything is commerce and all law is commerce, right? And all commerce is law. Um, so, you know, these are the things that we're dealing with here. But at the very, at the very hub of this thing, uh, we're dealing with uh, uh, patented processes that, are, that, are, that manipulate information, that manipulate uh, jurisdiction, that manipulate uh, um, signatures, that manipulate assets and properties, uh, that make choices for us that we, it had we had been informed, would not would not choose to uh, agree to, uh, and and it's this: it, it, it's the pledge that we pledge all rights, title, and interest to an intermediary, to a nominated agent, which is an attorney. Now, because patents and trademarks requires uh, there to be an attorney involved in in in, in pretty much all phases of this thing. Like I said, you can get a patent and trademark without an attorney, but it's very very hard to do. Uh, and we're not talking about isolated uh, patents or trademarks that at one single individual, but we're talking about the whole system that's, that, that's been commandeered and taken over by uh, foreign agents who have occupied their asses on, I believe it's Article 8 of our Constitution, which protects your right to invention and my right to invention, and that's called copyrights and patents. And if you subscribe to the, if, you, if, you, if, we, if we talk about freedoms and liberties, what are, what are freedoms and liberties? What are they? That means that I have a choice to decide what I want to do. I have a choice to pursue my own happiness, to make my own mistakes, to, to make my own successes. And, and, and when I do make the mistakes, I have to uh, suffer the consequences for my mistakes. I, think, I don't think anybody would disagree with that. I, don't think, I think I, that's, and that's the basis for freedoms and liberties, really. I mean, in its most simplest uh, definition. But what about when somebody comes in and, and harms me uh, for uh, things that I haven't done, but I have, to, I have to suffer the damages for those. I have to suffer the consequences for those. And the, exact, and the perfect example of that is the economic collapse. Um, these things, uh, I didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything wrong. Uh, the banks set us up for failure. They did everything wrong, but yet we're made to pay to suffer that, consequences for that. And we've never gotten any kind of relief for that. If, as, if anything, we've gotten foreclosed upon and, and we've gotten uh, uh, def uh, defamed of our character and our credibility and, and, and really treated very, very poorly uh, from, from all angles, from, from county employees to the court employees, to the judges, to the courts and, 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 and the sheriff's department who have all been turned against us and made, and made to believe that we're liars, dead, debtors, or liars, deadbeats and cheats. And see, this all goes to this, this storyline uh, uh, that it's business as usual, that, that, that things haven't changed, it's paradigm, you know, you're a debtor. You may, you're, you're not a, you're not, you're not a, uh, um, uh, um, uh, you're not a creditor. You're not a, you're not, you're just a debtor. You're a debt slave, as everybody says, or you're not a debt slave. Okay. And, and, and in order to understand this stuff, you have to step into patents and trademarks and you have to start understanding what's, what's taking place in patents and trademarks and how much that has 
destroyed our society over these past 20 years. You know, what their goal is, their goal is to keep us uh, uh, um, focused on something else. That's their goal. But how can you defend something that doesn't exist? You know, you can't, you know, you can't. But the first, the first thing you got to do is you got to recognize that it doesn't exist. You got to, you got to recognize that these guys are lying to us. They have, they have, they have, they have, they, it was a coup d'etat. We have no freedoms whatsoever because these patented processes have stolen our freedoms all away from us. All of them. If you go through and you look at these, these some of the patents to, uh, of, of HSBC, uh, of uh, uh, Goldman Sachs, of Bank of America, they're all creating instruments. They're creating debt. They're creating stocks. They're creating bonds. They're manipulating all this information. And uh, it, it, it's, it's every single one of these inventions, no matter what it is, makes the presumption that there is a grantor, which they're presuming as you and I. And as the grantor, we are bringing all the collateral to the table. We're bringing the credit to the table. We're funding the damn patent. But as the assigner of these patents, we're also voluntarily uh, giving all rights, title, and interest to anything associated with that patent over to a fucking attorney. Pardon my language. Over to an attorney. And he has control of us. This country is run by attorneys, plain and simple. It's, there's nothing to prove on it. It stands, it stands a prima facie on the embodiment of patents and trademarks. And these patents, these patents are a manipulation of workflow. We're talking about information. We're talking about uh, databases. We're talking about customer lists. We're talking about data mining. We're talking about everything that has to do with the, the, how you treat information, how you treat that information, how you classify that information, how you interpret that information, how that information is sold, how it's, how, how, how it become, how it's converted into stocks and bonds, uh, how it's created into, how it funds businesses. It, it, it patents do everything. How it runs government how it tells employees how to do. More so, here's the most dangerous part about this. It presumes how we elect. Because remember, we, what we did is we were lured into giving away uh, our rights, title, and interest to a nominated agent. Key word is nominee. Nominee. We got a nominee in there that is, that is, doing our, that is performing our, our corporate rights of, of vo uh, to vote on stocks, and bonds and all these things have been taken away from us and commandeered from us by these attorneys, by foreign agents. And these patents that connect to it are, are the conduit that, that is creating this mess around us to where we have no rights whatsoever. I mean, why has the 1% become the 1%? Because of patents and trademarks, because they know the trade secret. And the trade secret is patents and trademarks. The trade secret is not in the civil court system, it's not in the county court. It's not in the county courts. It's not, it's not down to, at, at the Secretary of State because they're all freaking incompetent. They've all been lied to. They're all operating under the same premise that, that Joe Citizen and Joanne Citizen are operating under, which is that this is the ordinary course. This is the way it goes. This is the ordinary course uh, uh, paradigm. You know, I'm fighting a court and I'm fighting a bunch of crooked attorneys on, on, uh, uh, to defend against a foreclosure. Well, why aren't you winning that foreclosure? Because it's not meant for you to win that foreclosure because it's already been determined that you that you've lost that foreclosure it's been determined back way back when they created the patents on these things the patents that they didn't just that they didn't disclose to you at the closing room table uh the patents that says that that you're that you're gonna that they're gonna take your property and they're gonna slice it up into so many damn slices it's mind-numbing i mean it's like i think, I think in, in uh, um, Liz can correct me if i'm wrong but i think i took one patent i sliced i i figured out how many slices there were to it we we broke it all out i think it was just 90 some slices if not more than that okay and these are deeds these are all different kinds of deeds complementary deeds augmented deeds uh extension deeds uh a uh, complementary to complementary deeds all kinds of deeds that are created that that is the patent that is the patent so that patent that process that patent was to slice your property, your land, your air, you know, to create air rights, mobile air, I'm sorry, mobile air rights, land, um, not land rights, um, uh, uh, mineral rights, water rights, and all these deeds, okay, and sold it all over the world, all different jurisdictions. And if that's not bad enough, though, then you've got everything else that's been sliced off, then it's been, whoever's got the slice of that is doing the same damn thing over again. So what you have here is you have a made up world a bunch of bullshit 
of processes that are creating bonds, creating a business, creating value for these corporations, okay? And then what they're doing is through patents and trademarks, the agreements underneath patents and trademarks, they're doing their little, well, through the patents too, uh, that they're creating these, their business configurations, you know, their, their little sneaky ass sneaky shit that they're doing by creating all these shell corporations and holding corporations and, and corporations down the Cayman Islands. They're laundering up, there's patent processes that launders up through Texas, up into Canada. And these have to do with agricultural patents and, and, and winemaking patents and, and uh, 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 GM technologies, uh, uh, Toyota, all these things. So what I'm telling you is patents is not an easy thing to explain. It, it's, it's very complicated to try to get, to try to get, to, to try to grasp the understanding of it. Uh, the thing about it is that you have to understand is you don't have to understand all the intricacies of patents because you'll never figure them all out because it's so, it, it's so damn chaotic, but it, it, it boils down to this storyline. And that storyline is what I was saying before. When we're born, we're created into articles of manufacture and we are constantly being remanufactured uh, it's, uh, in this industrial complex. Okay. We are constantly funding GM technologies. Uh, we're funding a uh, general electric. We're funding all of the industrial revolution, all the industrial might and force that, that's built the infrastructure. And we're just constantly being reused over and over again within this collective membership. For decades, this has been going on, okay? So this is not, this is not just a result of 1998. This has been going on for decades prior than that. What made it worse in 1998 was that this was not about the birth certificate name anymore. This wasn't about Kenneth William Dost anymore. This was about the derivative name that spun off of Kenneth Boyd and Doss, that was Kenneth W. Doss, which is my public personality, which was created when I took my first job, when I took my first position in, in well, my first job at 16, and I had to fill out that, that IRS W-2 or W-4 form or whatever it was. I was, uh, they didn't ask for a middle name, they just asked for a middle initial. That was the day that that derivative was created. Okay, so what we're dealing with here is we're not dealing with the, the birth name, uh, that's already well in place. We're dealing with all the patents and everything that spin off of this derivative name. And that's all these processes that, that uh, uh, workflow um, that have nothing, nothing whatsoever to do with the mortgage on the real property. It's crafted to look, make it appear like that, but it has nothing to do with that whatsoever. Um, with the, value that's, the value that we have within patents is, is invaluable. And that's what they're afraid for us to see. That's what they don't want people to recognize. They don't want you and I to, rec to, come, into the, to come into this knowledge of a trade secret. Because once we have a knowledge of a trade secret, it's no longer a trade secret anymore. So what's the big trade secret? The big trade secret is, is hello, UCC9, the amendments to UCC9 is the greatest gift that anybody could ever give you. Anybody can ever give any individual in this that's living and breathing because it absolutely proves unconditionally that, that your all caps name is invaluable. You weren't told about that. They hid it from us. Why? Because they want to, they want to control it. They want to have that. They want to have full control over that name because God knows if you have that name then, 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 then the bad guys don't control the system, do they? The governments don't have the have the get to work the the, the little uh, financial dealings that they work um, and all the stuff uh, all of these things. Pants are so important. They're so important to the system. They run everything. You think about what they're sneaking through. Like I talked about earlier about elections, elections, city councils, and and and, and all these administrative things. All these uh, uh, corporate elections uh, for stocks and everything. You're all a part of that. We're all a part of that. We have rights in these things, but those rights have been stolen from us and they're manipulating the patents to create it for their own wealth and their own gain and our, uh, gain and our own demise. That's exactly what's going on. And, and so um, until we put our eyes on the patents and we realize and say, wait a second. And, 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 and I guess I, 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 I posted something yesterday about uh, let's not use, I don't consent anymore. Let's go spin something positive. Like I'm the power, and that was kind of that was good. That was kind of wrong. Maybe I should rephrase that and say, let's add to the I do not consent, and let's add a positive spin on that and say that I am the power, because we do have to say I don't consent. I don't consent to any of this stuff. I don't consent to. I didn't consent to pledging my name uh, 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 into these patents, into these patents and trademarks. I didn't. I didn't uh, 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 give my rights, title, and interest over to a, a damn foreign agent. 
a foreign agent has no loyalty to you or I, has no loyalty to anyone but themselves and to the British Commonwealth, the business of banking, the George Soros's of the world. Uh, the, uh, the, that, I won't say that one, because that one, that one's offensive to some people, but I said the president's name, uh, um, to, but to the wealthy elite. You know, this is, all, this is all about knowledge. It's all about a trade secret. There's only a trade secret as long as it's a secret. Once it's no longer a secret, what is it? it it's knowledge. It's cognitive knowledge. So these patents, what's really important to understand about these patents is, is that they are, they're balancing workflow and they're balancing any kind of uh, scheme that you could possibly imagine. And they're very devious, extremely devious. Um, you've got HSBC patents here. And if you, if you look at a lot of these patents, it, it, it really defeats the purpose for me to go through uh, individual patents because they're boring as hell and they're complex to understand. And, and, but you don't look at patents in, in, in the singular view. You got to look at them in, in the multi view, in a family view. In, the, in other words, every one patent has 20 or 30, 40, 50 other patents that attach to it, creating a patent family. And of course, those have legs on it. Um, now, somebody might be saying, oh, God, all these rabbit holes it's creating. No, there's no rabbit holes in patents and trademarks because a rabbit hole is a dead end, okay? The dead end that, the dead end that we're running into is the dead end that we've been forced to believe. And that's to this ownership and to these negotiable instruments and to these mortgage loans and to these defaults and to these sheriffs come throwing us out. No, we, it's not that we don't consent. We don't accept it. We don't believe you. We don't believe that this is a foreclosure. We know that this is not a mortgage on real property. Why do we know? We know because we have cognition, we have cognitive knowledge, and we're building competent understanding of what's taking place in patents and trademarks. And that is where our freedoms and liberties, of every man, woman, and child in this nation has been stolen without our even knowing it. And that's by the licenses and agreements underneath these patents and trademarks. And so when we talk about, okay, well, how do we change the system? How do we change these patents? Um, it's not a matter of changing the patents. It's not a matter of, of uh, uh, it's a matter of changing the agreements <clears throat> to those patents. Because every one of these patents is geared towards, like I said earlier, it's the subject, a grantor, a person that, that, is, that is donating, uh, that's con contributing, that is uh, granting, that is pledging, that is giving all their rights, title, and interest up into their assets and properties. And because we're talking about intellectual properties, we're talking about personal, uh, per, excuse me, we're talking about personal properties, intellectual properties, and real properties. And how is a real property an intellectual property? Well, because a real property, the, 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 the process that cuts your real property, you know, that, that, that the negotiable instrument uh, and that land up in a 30 or 40 or 50 different slices was a patent, an intellectual property that did that. And what brings those back together again when they come and foreclose upon you is a patent that process through that patent that allows these guys to come back and foreclose upon you. Um, and, and, and keep in mind, you're the equity. No doubt about it, you are the equity. What they've done is they've kept one sliver in the state that you're in so that they can come after you on the debt. You got 99 other, <laughs> minimum, I'm probably say 99,000 infinity to infinity uh, pieces spread throughout the world that is all equity. That is all. That is all part of. That is. It's all part of corporations. Yes, it is part of corporations. Is it a corporation? Well, yeah, it kind of is to some degree. And I tell you where they're creating a corporation for us. They're creating it through the state of Maryland. Uh, there, there's, 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 there's laws through the state of Maryland, and the way the laws are through the state of Maryland, they're able to create this single member LLC. And they're doing that through a company called PHH. Uh, and uh, then they're going. That, that, then as far as the uh, the corporation for the all capitalized name, they're doing that through the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. As far as these private trusts that they're creating, uh, that, that uh, um, uh, like to, uh, um, for um, uh, these LLCs uh, that these attorneys are hiding all our assets in, uh, they're doing that through the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Um, uh, the, 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 uh, the way that they're, they're taking us into and creating a special purpose vehicle through these patents and everything, these processes and creating all these, all these uh, um, uh, 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 contraventions, which is made up bull crap, uh, um, capricious whim, uh, uh, art is what it is, is through the Commonwealth of Virginia that takes us up through uh, uh, into the um, into Admiralty Law. Uh, 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 Kentucky, Kentucky is what brings us back to the Appalachians. I can see his play on words here. They're not talking about Appalachians as far as Appalachian Mountains, or they're talking about Appalachians as an Appalachians of origin. 
uh, and, and in terms of Appalachian origin that bring us back through to the wine industry, because that's what puts us on the land by labeling us on the land, wine labeling, labels us on the land because land is natural, because everything there is natural. We can put our, finger, our fingers and toes in the soil. You know, we could, we, we've got the grapevines that grow naturally. And then what happens, we, we ferment, they get fermented into wine. It's all a natural process. It's separate and apart from this industrial structure of, 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 of all pipes and uh, steam and all this, you know, just fire and brimstone. That's part of, that's part of uh, in, 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 uh, the industrial complex. Um, I'm gonna stop for a second just to catch my breath and just to see that hopefully I'm not throwing people off and confusing the hell out of people. Um, I know this is a complex subject, but Bridget, um, say a word. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I was just listening. Um, I mean, I, I don't know how fast, this is just a hard conversation, so I don't know how fast I'm talking. Um, um, and I know it's hard to get a grasp on these things. And, but, but you tell me how I'm doing or how people are. Yeah, I think you're, I mean, I think that you're doing a, I think you're doing a great job. I mean, the thing is, is that anything that derives um, at the service, uh, in this world is paid for by all of us you know being trafficked by whoever we're being trafficked um and that's electronically these days and then you know then we also have the attorneys behind the scene that have created um different resources for themselves in order to actually uh traffic each individual um that they acquire and yeah. uh, and split yeah. them up and then on top of it they're also now they've made a lot of these attorneys have made so much money that they don't want to get in trouble for doing what they're doing so they're actually resigning and then what they're selling is their lists of people so well, now no, they're the, actually uh, making uh, money selling you on a list you know with all the people that they've actually made money on let me, let me stop you right there because that's a you bring up an important point you bring up a very important point what they're actually doing because you got to remember these guys are impersonating you they're impersonators okay um uh, because they, they now, now they're gonna say oh we're not impersonating you yeah you are you stole my you stole my signature you stole my all caps name and, and you stole it by by a by a pledge that 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 is indisputably rebuttable because I cannot, you cannot, Joanne cannot, Kim cannot, whoever's on this call cannot voluntarily agree to something that they have no knowledge of, especially something that's been intentionally concealed from us. So these attorneys run the entire show. Now what they're doing here is because they're trying to extend the life of these things, they're trying to make sure, they're trying to get out all the rest of these people that can't get out of their houses, like me, uh, uh, they've got to find a new way of doing it. So what they're doing is they're doing an agreement under patents and trademarks that is called a resignation and an assignment of succession. So what these freaking attorneys are doing, you, and, you, and you, kind of, you kind of draw a good correlation there, Bridget, uh, with what you're saying about selling their customers. That's exactly what they're doing. But they're saying that you and I are resigning our, uh, from this whole thing, and we're agreeing to, to uh, assign to somebody else. So what we're doing is just a forced abandonment of our property is what they're trying to do. So there's another way that they're trying to get to force their the ban on our property. And understand, when we're talking about mortgage loans and funding these mortgage loans, we're not talking about what, you gotta look beyond the mortgage loan. These mortgage loans are not to real property, that's bullshit. These mortgage loans are to patents and trademarks, to your all caps name that they're capitalizing on, they're controlling, okay? Uh, and, and they're controlling it from the very hub of technology. So, you know, when you sit there, and, and with the, so literally what they've done, they've literally uh, um, have engineered a system so that you and I exist for one reason. You know what that reason is? For their pleasure and profits. And that's disgusting. But that's exactly what's happening. There's no, it, it, and it's very easily provable. There's nothing to prove, really. All you gotta do is look at the embodiment of patents and trademarks. But you look on that, you look at a simple body, and you look at any one of these patents, and you think, okay, well, how do I prove that I'm part of one of these patents? How do I have to prove that? Because in the court system, you know, you got to prove that. You got to prove, prove evidence of this. And, you know, you got to get uh, um, um, uh, discovery and all these things and all this court crap, okay? We got to do all that stuff. And of course, what are those? Those are, those are impediments, aren't they not? Are they not impediments to, to us uh, realizing justice? But we don't realize that because we think at the system, you know, 
So I don't know, I don't know who does still, but uh, you know, people think of the system as you know the, that the court, you know, fairness in the court system. There's no fairness in the court system. It's been set up for you from the very beginning. You don't stand a chance in winning in court. You don't stand a single chance at all. And all these things are all these trading transactions, and you wonder why you wonder why uh, servicer A uh, has it when it should have been servicer B, and how it went from this bank to another bank. It went from that bank because they're trading us like commodities. We're being human. We're being trafficked by these guys, and the courts are part of it. The 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 um the the the, 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 the prosecutors are part of it. Uh, the sheriffs are part of it. They're all part of this because they're all getting money and they're all getting kickbacks. Yeah, because it's business car, transactions, car it's dealerships, trading. everything. No, yes. and the DMV, and I mean, on top of you paying the DMV, they also get money from behind the scenes as well. I yes, mean, it, you know, it's, that's it's, the it's, thing is some of they sometimes they get like you it, know it's, quadruple it's called a, paid. It's on, called a it's called a futures commission broker is what it's called. So I have this kind of funny story about what happened too. Um, so this week, um, I, you know, my van that I was living in basically for eight years died in December and then COVID hit and, you know, like, you know, I'm kind of, you know, stuck on someone's floor and I'm still working on trying to get, you know, myself back up and going. So I realized I'm probably going to have to, you know, see if I can get, a um, loan on a car. Well, I found a van, a commercial van, kind of like the one I had, but this one's newer and nicer. And, um, and so I went, um, I talked to them online, you know, online and then on the phone about, it was only $29,000 and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what happened was, is they took all my information because I was going to get a loan from my church, right? Because I have a church ministry. Mm -hmm. And so I gave them all that information plus my information. <laughs> And for a $29,000 van, I figured with all the paperwork that I've submitted, I'm, I'm so far out of their system that there was like not any way, shape or form that they could get me a loan, that they could get somebody else to get me a loan. And basically what he said was, you know, this is kind of like what it's come down to. You know, if you want the van, you're going to have to pay ca half cash for it. And then um, we'll have to submit to see if we can get you a loan and most likely it's going to be around 19 percent interest but then then he yep. paused and yep. then he said and then he paused and said but you know with all of your stuff i'm pretty sure you're probably not ever going to get a loan for a car. well okay now, now let me let me stop you then let's talk about that for a minute let's talk about all this stuff okay um the impediments now you read these patents they're they're, they're, they're talking about the patent that this is how it's a patent. The patent actually sliced up the property, um, no matter what property property it is. What they're doing is it's called a manipulation of electrical signals. Is what they're doing, um, and all this stuff we're talking about is electrical. Okay, but now it's well. Let's take it back. It, it's electrical, but it's wireless as well. So now it's now it's wireless. Okay, uh, and digital. Um, but what they're doing is is you know the, the systems that convey us is all about is all about communications. It's all about uh, communicating from one from one database to another, uh, um, and to get information to various databases. And, and you know, a lot of information we're closed out of because it's it's because we don't have the powers of attorney there. We don't have the rights there because it, think of it as like a almost like a um, uh, um, uh, like a switchboard to some degree, an electrical switchboard that has a bunch of uh, lift gates to it, and, and those lift gates are those gates are operated by capacitors or whatever electro electrical signals that opens or closes those gates. It's the same thing here, okay? Um, and, and so what these patents are doing is they're controlling the flow of information uh, and who has uh, who has access to it and who can override the information. So what we what 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 we what we need to do is we need to kind of uh, by removing all the powers that 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 are that are uh, acting on our behalf or that are acting as an impediment, we've got to remove all those so all the lift gates, all the gates properly open up so that we get all, the, the flow of information flows as it should. And if the flow of information flows as it should, then uh, what it shows is that we are the stock owners of all these stocks. We are, we are, we have, our credit is impeccable. And we, our, our credit is, is, is limitless, you know, and, and uh, this may sound, this may sound odd or funny, but the, um, uh, the actual place that really uh, we're going to go through, um, and, I, and I'm, I'm debating now whether I whether I need to actually make an assignment to this or not, and I don't think I do because I've called bullshit on the whole system. But is through uh, uh, GM Technologies. GM Technologies 
uh, is the key to uh, uh, getting all of our debt erased and vanquished and uh, uh, revoking our guarantorship. Now that sounds, that's, you're thinking GM technology, that's ludicrous, but remember what I'm talking about. We're talking about, we're talking about abstract stories here. We're talking about, you gotta think of yourself as being, uh, uh, um, uh, you gotta take yourself out of your form. You know, you look at your, you look at, you know, I look down and see my, you know, I see five fingers on each hand and, you know, I got my physical body, my legs and everything. You almost gotta imagine yourself as having no form and just kind of floating through the system, being pulled in all different directions in whatever form they create you as because uh, that's what you are. You have no form. So, so really that's, that's the problem here. Uh, we don't have, we, we, we're not an individual person. We're not dead, okay? I, I don't like when people say that we're dead. No, we're not dead. We don't have, we, the problem is we don't have any physical form because that, that all caps name is, is a non-human form that is being manipulated and converted and turned into whatever they, whoever they may be, whether it be the bank, whether it be the government, whether it be uh, um, uh, attorneys, whatever they want us to be, you know, uh, um, to fund, whether it be a business, whether it be a, a, a government bond program, whether it be municipalities, uh, uh, I'm sorry, municipal bonds, whatever it may be, okay? So that's, that's the part of our soul, that's our energy that's out there. And, and, and here you are, I, here, here you and I are on our feet on the ground and we're thinking they're on the ground and, and you know, we're just a body of living matter that's disconnected from the form. You know, we don't have a form because we haven't, we haven't said, we haven't grabbed onto that form, our soul and said, no, that soul, that all caps name that you've been manipulating and ha have, have put all over the world, that form belongs with me, the, me. So that the body and soul, and, and if you know anything about body and soul, you know anything about, the, uh, about substances and composite substances, um, the body, and the body and soul are, are, are two composites, but are only a substance if they're in union with one another. Otherwise, otherwise, and they also it's a two, it's a two composites and two components that are the constituents for physical existence. We cannot have a physical existence if we're separated from those, okay? And that's what's going on here with patents and trademarks. Our energy, that it's our credit, that is, our, that is, that is what we contribute to the collective membership. And the collective membership is more than lots of collective memberships. Uh, you look, you're in a, you're in a, in a, you're in your county. You got a collective membership there, or a city. You're in a collective membership there, or maybe a, 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 a homeowners association. That's a collective a, a membership. You're in a state collective membership, a county collective membership, a federal collective membership. Okay, so we're parts of all these different collective memberships. Okay, uh, and, and and for decades, and this is this is. You know, this goes back before 1998. 1998, as I said, was the derivatives. This is their playtime. This is the orgy room for them. But it, but this has been going on for decades. You know, so you got to ask yourself a question. You got to say, okay, well, if I if I'm part of this collective membership, um, and, and I am actually, and this is what you have to really get to your mind and really understand and really have a good understanding in your own mind of this. And I can't do that. Only you can do that. But the, what the value of you is the value of that soul. Okay. If you can understand that, you can grasp that, grasp that, then that's half the battle to all this stuff because we're being used time and time again. They're constantly borrowing from our energy, okay? Constantly by some patented process or another, whether it be municipal bonds, whether it be uh, creating, a, a, well, Black, BlackRock, for instance, whether it be uh, creating a, um, a, 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 a DNA, RNA, nanotechnology type stuff off of us. They're getting that stuff through patents. Okay, and they're getting the okay to do that stuff from you and I from these uh, presumed pleasures that we gave. Okay, so, but if you think about it, you think about all the, all the time that they borrowed from us through the decades when our parents were alive and our grandparents were alive. Okay, they've been borrowing and borrowing and borrowing. Well, have you ever got any interest on that? I haven't. Have you ever gotten anything, any interest from your parents? I haven't. You know, this is a part of, this is a part of, uh, of intellectual property is a part of a part of value that 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 these attorneys and these foreign agents in British Commonwealth feel entitled to that is theirs. They have they have an entitlement to that's theirs because they're the monarchy, right? That goes back. They're the, they're the British Commonwealth, British colonialism, power. Co you know, uh, there's, there's there's no Commonwealth. It's not for the common good. It's for their Commonwealth, but our common bad, our common poor. I haven't done, if I'm part of this collective membership, you know what, I don't want to be a part of this fucking collective membership anymore. You know why? Because it's done me no good. Because it's interfering with my freedoms and liberties. 
I didn't do anything wrong when the economy collapsed. You didn't either. The banks did everything wrong with it. Okay, so, you know, I've, I've, I've benefited nothing from this collective membership, so I don't want to be a part of it anymore. Oh, and by the way, this collective membership has violated my constitutional rights at the, ver at the very hub, at the very ground level of the Constitution, sitting right on Article 8. You're, in you're, you're, you're impeding my rights of invention. And, and, and because of this, I want out. I want out of this thing. So what we're doing with patents specifically, because remember, we're talking about this, this, this disconnected form from us, this all capitalized name that they're, that they're articulating into various components, into you know, uh, cloning, uh, any kind of something that's not real. It's not a fiction though. Okay, let's not let's draw a uh, distinction between fiction and, 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 and abstract uh, uh, metaphysics. You know, both of them are made up, okay? But if it's a fiction, it's not gonna affect my life. Uh, metaphysics affects my life, but it's all bullshit. It's all made up. It doesn't make, you know, at the end of the day, none of these things really uh, uh, um, materialize into, in, into a tangible thing. You know, when you talk about information, information is not a material thing, is it? It's not a tangible thing, is it? I mean, it, 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 it's tangible in the sense of where it, where it may be sitting. It may be sitting on a computer desk or, or, a, 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 semi, or, or, or a semiconductor chip. Okay, um, but it's but it has no it has no physical presence to it uh, because the physical presence to it belongs to you and I. We're the ones that own that. These are representations of of that, that part of me that's inside myself that that they're using to exploit me, to uh, profit off of me, to control me, to enslave me. All these things are going on through patents and trademarks, and it's not that hard to prove this stuff. You just got to understand from the very beginning that that they took that they took they presumed that you gave them all rights, title, and interest to everything you own. Okay, so um, when we talk about patents, you know, we're talking about <laughs> it's it's it, we're all this is not just the United States. This is global. Um, we're all we're all locked into this 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 uh, common law, commonwealth thing, uh, where um, you have the separation of the common. In common law that you have the common law uh, rights title and use of your uh, of your all caps name and all properties and assets there too uh, you are the sole owner of these things but for there's always a but for there right but for uh, um, uh, liens permitted by law that includes presumption of voluntary agreement well the presumption of voluntary agreement is, uh, is in every one of these patents it presumes uh, um, that you that you I mean if, whether you know it or not your co-inventor thousands of patents. I've, everyone that's on this call is a co-inventor. You never knew it. You're the co-inventor, the assigner. You're not per se because uh, uh, it's not you that's doing it. It's your impersonator that's doing it. It's a foreign agent law firm and attorney that is doing it. That's what all is driving all the stuff that's taking place. So what we need to do is we need to put our Parker asses within patents and trademarks and say, uh, I guess you could say, yeah, I don't consent. I did not, I don't agree to this and I quit. I don't want a part of this anymore. I'm going to self eject myself from patents and trademarks, self eject myself from out of this system so that I can be my own private little, you know, my enclosure uh, that has to be protected by the sovereignty of the United States. Cause that's what that's, that's what's done. The United States is sovereignty, is it not? It's a sovereignty because one of the reasons why it is a sovereignty because uh, we gave up parts of our rights to government. Um, uh, uh, to rule us and govern us, but they haven't succeeded, have they? Haven't done too much. They haven't done too good by us, have they? Um, so, but how do you prove common laws been violated? How do you how do you prove how do you how do you get your common law rights? Now, there's only one Article Eight court. It's in Washington D.C., but we don't need an Article Eight court. All we need to do is go to patents and trademarks and revoke those presumptions and reverse everything and call the heads on these uh, on all this stuff, and then it has to come back to us. And go, now, now, going back to what I'm talking about, what happened with us when we got served with those papers, uh, I think that I think I got patents and trade, trademarks pretty well scared. I think I got them scared to death with what I put in. Um, now, those things, I, I, I'll, I'll put, Bridget, I'll, I'll send you these to post to this, to this, uh, um, uh, to your blog. Uh, but I posted them to the documents that I have on uh, a file with patents and trademarks on my Facebook page, the mortgage equals copy, uh, mortgage equals trading, name, trading and trade name. Uh, so I posted those documents there, and they're pretty explosive. Um, with my patent filing, uh, I, I attached a, a declaration of existence. I attached, uh, in my case, I was adopted, so I attached my uh, um, 
my uh, um, um, adoption decree. Uh, <clears throat> I even finally got a hold of my, my birth certificate, uh, be, uh, my original one, before it was modified by my adoption. So I got all this stuff in evidence. I put that right in there, attached right to it. And I said, bullshit, I'm done, I'm done with this stuff. I'm done with it, you know. Um, the question is, do you have the courage to take to, to make a stand and be free? Do you have the courage to do that? And that's what this comes down to. And it's the courage to say no to the courts. It's the courage to say, I don't believe you. I don't believe you attorneys are liars. I don't believe you. You are acting unlawfully and illegally. And I don't believe anything you're talking about. You have nothing on me. You can't prosecute anything on me. Why? Because I got my feet standing in patents and trademarks. And when I'm looking around patents and trademarks, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing a bunch of automated processes by banks uh, that are working in collaboration with one another, kind of bouncing this around. It's kind of like a, like a, like a, like a, 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 a,
So that's why we've got to bounce ourselves out of this court system and, and, and focus all our attention on patents and trademarks. And I'm not, I'm not telling you that we need to understand everything about these things because you're not going to, but we got to understand the premise of these things. Any questions, any comments at this point? I mean, I'm, I'm sure I'm, probably, I'm, hope, I'm sure I'm probably confusing the hell out of people. I'm sorry. I don't know what any easier way to try to explain these patents. Hey, I was just, uh, I'm just listening, but um, I was, uh, a friend of mine just sent me um, news about the new NAFTA agreement. They say it's not the NAFTA agreement. It's the same old NAFTA agreement, but they've tweaked it. But what they've added, just so you know, so an agreement you know, it's just like a patent or a trade or a loan or anything else, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> An agreement is the same thing. They're trying yep. to create revenue off something uh, using, you know, some, some handwriting. So, you know, our president signed his signature on it, right? So um, basically they said that it added, it's the deal between Canada, Mexico, and North America. Yeah. And so it says that, Basically, the provisions in there that cover things like e-commerce, digital services, yep. All but, patents. With, but with regard to manufacturing sector, That's for us. instance, there's a, a very little change. So basically what they offered is that now the trade agreement is now digital and electronic. Yeah, well, it's always it already has been. It already is that way. So they came up with it. They came up with so they came up with a new uh, system of uh, controls on that or something. Right, but now it's like now when people are crossing through and they have to pay tariffs or whatever else, you know, it'll just come out of their e-commerce account as they pass, you know, the border, you know, and, stopping yes. and having to pay for it or whatever else. So, yes, you know, yes. Well, yeah, everything. Every, yes, everything, everything is digital. Everything, everything swings through an information mm -hmm. database. Everything and this is, is a, other, there's been a lot of other stuff that I've read recently. This guy who's exposing the blockchain worldwide. I mean, so many people have no idea what's going which, on. Which, which, which is patents as well. Right. So they're going into full uh, a digital and electronic currency. So one day we're going to wake up and the banks aren't going to be open because they don't need the banks to have crypto right they don't need the banks to do well, that well that, no, well uh, that, the banks are creating that the banks have to give it value the banks are the banks are the ones that, that give it that gives it value flows through that flows through the value the banks are no the banks are always going to be there they're always going to be there no uh, they're this, saying they, that they, once they, they move to the digital that they they won't need them <laughs> Well, so, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't see that as being a kid. No, that's not. That's yeah. Not so happen. that's the thing is we're moving away from, we're going to wake up one morning and we're not going to be able to use us dollar. You know, we're not going to be able to use. Yeah. Cash. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't care about the dollar. I don't care about the currency. I care about none of that. All I care about is the value of my credit and, and the value mm -hmm. and the value of my, the value of my all caps name, which is, which isn't valuable in any currency in any, in any foreign land. It's valuable. Because I'm the one that's I'm the one that's contributing it. I don't give a shit what it what it converts to. I want the equal value back in my credits. Okay, uh, and, and what, that's what you're doing here by doing this. You, you're taking that's exactly what you're doing uh, of your um, uh, of your um, uh, um, hold on a second. Uh, uh, open up something here real quick. The value of your uh, um, credit, or the value of your name, which is invaluable, uh, and this is prima facie. There's nothing to prove here. Because it's all it's all it's all within patents and trademarks. If you understand the agreements and you understand what what what, they're, what you're agreeing to, uh, or what they've agreed us to, uh, then you understand that you are the value. Now, here I opened up uh, Morgan Stanley. Okay, Morgan Stanley is they're the guys that are that are pushing. They're the guys behind this new little push for this foreclosure that's taking place. Um, and they've got there's there's a there's an assignment here that is security interest from a company called when you know it. Uh, from Morgan Stanley to the assignee, Royal Bank of Canada, acting as the administrative agent. Uh, so see, there's no, what they're operating on, uh, there is no jurisdiction because they're bouncing jurisdiction so much. And you're not a United States citizen, maybe in one context you are, but in this context, you're, 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 you're an American. You, you're an American. What part, what American? North American. Well, you know, they got Canadian American and you got Mexican American, right? So you got all these different, so you got a part of that. So that's, now you're talking about uh, um, hemispheres, okay? So remember, it's about collective membership. There's a million different collective memberships we're a part of, right? And every one of them we're thrown into uh, is drawing value from it. The only thing that we see, though, and the only thing we understand is the debtor part of this thing. 
and, and we're accepting that. We should no longer expect, accept any of that. Now, here's the patents for, for, for uh, Morgan Stanley, just a few few. And it's, it just get, get the, what, the, what the ring of it is. Creating data in a data store using a dynamic ontology. What is ontology? Ontology is, is metaphysics. It's making shit up, basically. It's on capricious whim. It's coming from somebody's mind. Okay, providing unique views of data based on changes or rules. Okay, well, what's that telling us? It's talking about how they see the data and how it's being interpreted, right? And to what rules are they applying it to? Are they applying it to uh, a, a, a court rules or are they applying it to some other kind of rules? But the point is that they're changing it. Uh, let's see, generating dynamic data sets that represent market conditions. Well, that speaks for itself. Uh, let's see, a feature-based similarity measure for market instruments. Okay, they're changing the instrument, they're changing documents there. Resol here's one for you, resolving database entity information. Okay, what is that saying? They're talking about, about, uh, about resolving or changing data or, or manipulating data uh, for, the, for the information of the entity. Well, who's the entity? We're the entity. You know, well, what kind of entity are we? Well, you know, in some cases, we're, 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 uh, we've been incorporated as a, as a partner in an LLP with these damn attorneys. Okay, and in another context, we're, we're, uh, we're, we've been created as a single member, single, well, single member LLC. In other contexts, we're uh, uh, the stock owner. In other contexts, we're uh, a, a DNA uh, 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 strand. In other contexts, we're a nanotech part. In other contexts, we're, uh, we're stored on a, uh, on a semiconductor, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's all about And in us. another one, when we were looking at the stuff um, that we found for my patent, you know, um, thingy, uh, one of the things that we found, you know, that I'm being traded in, in this company was a crypto. Remember when yes. we found that JP Morgan's crypto because JP uh, yep. Morgan's trafficking me. Yep. So yep. Um, electronically. And That's so right. They have they all... a crypto in the, in the, in the wings. Yes. That yes. People don't know about. Yes. But, 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 see, it's, but it's all the same though. Okay. Let me go on here. Let me read on document based workflows. Uh, one click. Sharing for screenshots and related documents. Um, let's see, techniques for uh, uh, drawing geo, geodetic polygons. They're talking about uh, um, overhead surveillance there. They're talking about geomapping. They're talking about the satellites that, that McDonald Detweiler has up in space that are, that are trading uh, on insurances and creating insurance policies. And they're also the scanning the lands for minerals and see which lands have minerals in. So if you got a big ranch or something that has minerals on it, you might as well expect to be foreclosed upon because somebody else wants it. There's some because they sold those rights off to somebody else that you didn't know about. Uh, let's see, uh, managing disconnected in, in investigations, sharing and deconflicting de de data changes in multi-master database system. Now, what, now, the first question to be asking yourself, what the hell does any of this have to do with banking? This is Morgan Stanley. What the hell does any of this have to do with banking? What are they doing? This is all information, isn't it? It's all balancing information. That's what they're doing. It's all about the balancing of information, the manipulation of information, who has rights to it as far as licensing is concerned and, 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 and how, they're, how, how, they're, how it's trading within this, well, it's, it is trading. It's all part of indexes. Uh, it's, part, it's part of a, a ETFs. It's all part of this big collective membership that's constantly, constantly trading. And the big trade secret here, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that complicated. The big trade secret is, is you're lying to me. You lied to me. I'm the energy. I am the one that is that is uh, that is the, that is uh, um, uh, um, the, the the whole ball, the, the whole bag of chips to all this stuff. I'm the one that's putting value to these things. And what you've done is you've created all these different mechanisms for value that took what I thought was uh, a negotiable instrument that was you know, was sold as a bulk package to an investor and held on to by that investor, which it was in the old paradigm. And that's all just a lie. It's all a lie. It's all a lie. You got more equity than you could possibly imagine if you just stood on your feet and you said, no, I don't believe you. I don't believe the court system. You're lying to me. You know, so what do we do to get out of the court system? We have to step, we have to widen the sphere of knowledge. And what is the sphere of knowledge? The sphere of knowledge is what they have us trapped in is they have us trapped in a sphere of knowledge that is limited to debt, that is limited to a false belief and paradigm, right? That's what they've got us, that's what they got us believing. We need to widen that sphere of knowledge to incorporate the other side of the books. Well, what do we do that? We do that in patents and trademarks because that's where it was all taken from us. That's where it was taken from us and that's where it is restored to us is in patents and trademarks. Um, now, 
not, 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 not people are saying, well, they're not going to give it to us. How are they not going to give it to us? Well, they almost really have to give it to us. They really don't have a choice, really, because by their own rules, by their own rules, guys, they have to uh, uh, make the proper um, uh, uh, corrections for effective errors. Effective errors is a nice way of saying fraud, okay? We all have been harmed and damaged by the United States Patent and Trademarks Office, by the patents and trademarks themselves. We've all been harmed by that. And, that, and, and it, has been, it is through that office and it's through the effective errors of that office that makes it incumbent upon them to make those corrections without charge to us. And in the process, automatically spurs a full audit, full forensic audit with Treasury, which will get into these patents and trademarks, which is what we need to do. We need to, you and I as individuals of this country, of our, in our, for ourselves, for our country, for our freedoms, for our liberties, we need to stand on our own individually and say, I do not believe you. I don't believe you and I want to call the hedge on what is taking place here. And they have no choice but to do it. Because when you, now, now, now we're gonna find out my case, okay? We're gonna find out, so I can't say that for a fact. We're gonna find out what's gonna happen here. But they really don't have a choice because I come through this thing, I'm just one person. But you come through this thing, Liz goes through this thing, Marjorie goes through this thing, you go through this thing, Bridget goes through this thing. The more people that individually go through this thing, the more pressure that puts on these guys to where they can't, where they're overrun. Um, and what you learn though, and I don't know how to, I don't know how to, how, how to really, it's difficult to, to teach patents. It's difficult to teach what these patents are doing uh, because so many of these things are, like I just read to you some things here and you try it in your head thinking, what the hell does that have to do with anything? Um, and it, it's all about information. It's all about balancing information. You just have to realize that, that, that you're, you were to incorporate it into a <laughs> quote unquote, voluntary system of, sta uh, system of sophisticated standards and procedures that we were incorporated into by reference. Well, there's one part that, but that's really missing. And that's the voluntary agreement. We did not voluntarily agree to this new sophisticated system of processes and procedures. They, 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 they took us in by a concealed pledge, by, uh, uh, by uh, 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 conceal the contracts, by concealed agreements, by lies, by deceptions, by, through, through the Fannie and Freddie uh, Uniform Institute, through mortgage loans, uh, is where they took us in. They took us in through other ways as well, but this is the most perfect illustration of it, is well, it through yes. here. Uh, and then, then once you once you were in the system, then everything. Then, 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 wait, let me finish. Then, let me finish one point. Then once you were in the system, it can incorporate you by reference into any patent, any agreement, any trademark they want to. Go ahead, Bridget. Well, and the other thing too is people have to realize, like in everything, they they change kind of your. Um, you know, how, what, how they comment about you. So for example, um, you know, there's the straw man, there's the capitalized name, there's the lost vessel, let's see, you know, there's all these different terms, but in copy and copyright and trademarks, they actually call you a factor and a, and a production. Yes, a factor of production. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That's right. You found that out. Yes. Yes. Bridget, you tell Bridget, you find you told her. Yeah, you found that out. That's good yeah. because that's so, what I've talked about for a long time that we're factors of production, and Bridget found that out for herself. Go yeah. Ahead, Bridget, that, well, I mean, it's just you know everything that you're dealing with out there that they're generating any kind of income, whether it's you know trademark or patents, or they're they've got something else going here, there, or the other thing. Um, you know, they all kind of have a different languaging about you, but pretty much anything that you read that has anything to do with money or value, that has anything to do with a service, that has anything to do with anything, no matter what they use as the description words, they're talking about you. Yes. And, and, and what they're molding you into. Because remember, that all capitalized name is a, think of it as a free form nothingness it's a free form of something <laughs> it's a free form of anything i want it to be because it has no form where's the form the form is is it's been disconnected from uh, from you and i from our physical form it's been disconnected why how and how by intermediaries by interlopers by impersonators by foreign agents attorneys yeah okay so we're like at the end of like 5 30 so are you going to send me those links by email so i can put the um blog up 
Yeah, I'll get those in. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, so send them to me an email and I'll put them up. And then does anybody um, have anything that they'd like to say or ask Ken or anything like that? Any people that are left? This is a heavy class. I mean, this was a hard one because it's 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 just it's so difficult to try to teach this stuff. Um, it really is. I mean, this is this is complex stuff here. It, it's something that you have to kind of dig into yourself. I can guide you to it, and I can kind of you know give you an idea of what to look for. But I mean, you really got to. This is something you got to kind of experience for yourself. You got to have your own aha moments here. But but if you go into this thing thinking that hey. You know, you understand that this is all made up stuff and it's all manipulation of information and that it's you that they're manipulating. Uh, if you understand that, if you can kind of just close your eyes and just kind of let yourself float away into these things, um, it'll, it'll make sense to you. Um, but, you know, it, you can't teach somebody that. That's the problem. So um, there's just one comment and then so we'll close. But uh, Marjorie okay. just wanted me to, from her, wish you and Michelle a happy anniversary. <laughs> oh, thank you. Because her, 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 her thing's not working, so she can't really yeah. tell you, so. Okay, 26, is that? 26 years. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Don't let your myself. wife hear that. Oh, <laughs> no. 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 I'm hanging myself, no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anyhow, so. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so that's it, and we'll get this posted, and then um, send me the links, and I'll get those included as well. Fantastic. Sounds good. All thank right, you. everybody. Thank you. Sorry about the um, password. I'll make sure that Zoom didn't add a password on for the next one, so the link should be clear. Okay. And, right. and Bridget, and Bridget, let's you and I talk. Let's let's you and I talk tomorrow morning or tomorrow late morning. Get you get the patent side done for you. Okay. Yeah. No worries. Um, everything's good here. Okay. And, um, okay. Thank you guys. Um, I, I hopefully this will hopefully we got something out of this. Like I said, it's kind of, it's a complex topic. Okay. All right, okay. everybody. Thanks. Have a great. Thank day. you. I'll see you next week.